Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 12th of July 2020. So equities close at a fresh record highs except for the Dow. Uh, there was uh, the S&P and the Nasdaq that uh, moved to the upside with the S&P. They're making a new record high on Friday. No surprise if you watch the Market Alert for the last uh, 10, 12, whatever it is, years. Uh, meanwhile, the implied uh, volatility uh, also moved lower, 1688 to 1451 on uh, Friday, as well as the risk was removed and prices moved to the upside. So news for this week, the big ones I'm just going to point out to you are CPI tomorrow, PPI on Wednesday, and uh, Powell speaking on Thursday, uh, sorry, on Wednesday, and also on Friday as well. And there's some retail sales out on Friday, but nothing major uh, to move the markets there. So, yeah, just those uh, three. But certainly tomorrow is uh, the CPI is going to be uh, one to watch out for. OK, let's have a look, see where we finished on Friday. Um, we'll start off with the Dow. And you can see that straight reversal, which I'd mentioned in Friday's market alert, because that's exactly what they want to do, even though the market's moving lower on the overnight. If it comes back, no doubt they'll just keep doing this. There's no good news uh, at the moment to send the market above, unless, of course, the CPI comes out less tomorrow. But you can see there, straight reversal up to uh, these areas of uh, resistance uh, for Friday's trading session. Uh, let's just have a look at a bit more detail. And there you can see Friday, the pajama traders were busy in the morning, just moving the market higher. And then as soon as the Dow opened, it just shot up and sent the market to, to the upside as well. It opened screaming to the upside, which the DAX didn't. It took a while before it played uh, catch up. And speaking of the DAX, again, you can see that straight reversal. No surprise there because, again, you've got this sideways uh, volatility with smaller sideways moves inside of it. So don't, again, don't be surprised if we get reversal to the downside and then brought back tomorrow with the CPI or vice versa. Uh, the market uh, needs something to break out of this sideways move that it's uh, currently in, but the volatility is good. Uh, that's uh, one bonus because normally when you get into a sideways move, uh, the price bars are really tiny. And interestingly enough, you can see how small they are over here as the market was making its way to the upside. But since it's got into a sideways move, notice how volatile it's actually uh, become, which is very interesting, whether the, the big boys are offloading in what's known as a distribution phase and they sell and then they bring the market back um, before they allow the market to move lower. But certainly very interesting what's going on there. What looks like just a sideways move is just a bit more than a sideways move. Let's have a look at uh, the downside. The only way I can draw any downside fibs on this is to click twice at the bottom of uh, this bar as uh, we don't have an, another high to actually uh, mark up from, you know, to the high and then project back down. So these are the fibs to the downside. Just use the big bar there because it uh, is above uh, Friday's uh, high and uh, the low is lower than the Thursday's low. So we got an inside bar for Friday there. So just use that for any downside target. So yeah, upside, we've got uh, 89 here and uh, the recent high there as well, which is actually the all time high as well, but stuck in that sideways move at the moment. In the 30 minutes uh, uh, DAX, so uh, you can see that uh, prices just moved up on Friday, again, that straight reversal, uh, opening up off the DP and moving to the upside to the uh, previous days uh, or towards the previous day's high. And prices at the moment uh, sideways, uh, making their way towards the DP and the 200 MA in the 30 minute chart. In the five minute chart, uh, this is Friday. Again, you can see the market uh, opening doing the classic retracement before moving higher. And we get a bit more of retracement sideways. And then the five minute chart uh, giving two signals to the upside there and the market uh, moving sharply to the upside. In the metals, uh, we've got more weakness in silver overnight. Uh, they're pushing this to the downside. Uh, I have, like I said, uh, on Friday, even though the market moved higher, 
Uh, I can't see this holding and they're going to uh, likely to move it to the downside and retest down here. There's, uh, they're doing everything they can at the moment to uh, move prices and keep prices uh, suppressed. Other than last year when we saw the market move to the upside in July, you can see there, mind you it was mid-July before it took off. Uh, seasonally the metals do move higher in the summer but uh, at the moment we've got uh, a situation where they're still putting downside pressure so any of these areas here again I'll put the order back in below this just to see uh, if it'll be picked up but at the moment the weakness dominates whereas gold interestingly enough you can see is still sitting uh, quite comfortably with some strength on the upside there compared to silver which is heading down towards the recent low that uh, we see here, if we look at the same one in the silver market, you can see how much closer we are and the weakness of the downside pressure. Uh, the dollar starting to move back to the upside as well. If we were to mark this up from here to here, you will see that uh, prices found right, uh, found support right on the 89 uh, level there, right to it and uh, bouncing off at the moment. So. Another reason why silver is coming under pressure because uh, of the uh, flight to the dollar at the moment from other currencies. So yeah, that's uh, about it for a quick recap of Friday. Uh, one thing just to have a look at, uh, which I've forgotten, uh, the two minutes chart uh, overnight. Again, you can see that the market's uh, not doing a lot. Uh, fairly quiet there in a range of about 20 points 25 points and there's your dp level if the futures market wants to move prices lower that's where it's likely to uh, move to okay let's have a look at a bit more in depth on friday's trading session and have a look at uh, what the market did so we uh, started off with the market uh, moving to the upside in the daily chart stuck at the 38 percent had a way to go on the upside. So let's just uh, whiz through this. Uh, that was the 30 minute chart. Well, I'll just fast forward to the start. And uh, there you can see the uh, market moving to the upside there, then the futures market opening and continuing the move to the upside. Anything to bring the market back, as I've said before. So prices started to move to the upside and uh, as we got a, a green bar there, it was outside of the criteria, but I thought I'll just give this one uh, a whirl because of the background. And again, it's always important to look at the background. And as I said in the market alert, we're likely to get a reversal on the day. And this is exactly what they tried to do. We got some selling pressure coming in with the red volume bar there, and then further uh, selling pressure coming in as well there. So as we move forward, you can see prices uh, moving to the upside. I'm looking at the daily chart. We've gone through the 38 and the 50 from when we started. But as prices start to weaken, we just take the money off the table, which was uh, the right thing to do. Then we get uh, a bit of support coming in, market uh, coming back, and then uh, getting stuck in a range of 89% there. And then prices uh, moving back to the downside towards the DP, stopping at 78%. And then moving back, we've got a, a signal there. And immediately, as they attempt to move the market to the upside, we can see we've got a problem because there is uh, resistance and an increase in volume there as prices come off the high. And then just stuck in a sideways move. And uh, as the market was starting to move to the downside uh, uh, out of the trade, and the market hits the BRN, they retest. This is interesting here because you can see how the increase in volume at this psychological level, and then they bring the market uh, back. So it's a case of let's shake out all of those that want to sell. They test the market, which you see there, and then prices uh, start to move to the uh, upside there. So uh, they got rid of uh, everybody first here, and retested and then uh, brought the market uh, back to the upside there. So let's uh, carry on through the morning, see prices moving to the upside, and then just becoming quiet. And then at 10 a.m. we had another signal, or just before 10. So uh, traded uh, this one into the morning, and uh, again, not a lot on the trade, 
watching the daily chart just to have a look you can see we're approaching 62 percent retracement now again this is why i always use the daily chart that 62 in the daily shows the selling in the two minute there are every you know all the traders are aware of these levels and then prices start to uh, trade sideways and as they come back again it's just a matter of get out of the trade and then prices uh, start to uh, move uh, sideways through the rest of the morning so i'm going to fast forward to the afternoon now the dow took off like a rocket from the off but the dax decided to uh, move to the downside first but there was a clue here that the market wasn't going to go down and there's your, your first clue there you can see how uh, the market uh, tested in this uh, bar here as well and then the market uh, reversed and came back so it was, again it was a, the shakeout a few people first and then uh, they moved the market to the upside and i could see this was going to be the case so aborted the trade based on the, the buying that i could see in the market here the dow was moving to the upside strongly as you saw in the 30 minute chart and then prices uh, moving to the upside they came down and retested here uh, the 20 bar moving average and then the market was free to move to the upside with the five bar above the 20 and the 20 above the 200 the new trend was set there but uh, a lot more volatility which is great but uh, can be annoying as well where you can be taken out of a trade before the market moves to the upside as you see uh, there for friday afternoon so yeah the market's uh, making its way back to the upside as we've seen in the daily chart uh, on Friday a uh, bit of weakness overnight here at the moment but stuck in that sideways range you, you've got to be aware of what the market's uh, currently doing in order to try and stack the odds as it were but it was a bit of a tough one on uh, Friday with uh, the uh, increase in volatility and switching uh, up and down a lot uh, which was a bit of a pain but hopefully we'll have uh, a bit more of a direction uh, today or we need to switch to the longer time frame as we saw in the five minute that uh, removed the uh, volatility and then it was able just free to move to the upside there okay that will do it for this one if there is anything else to report i will let you know but as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one